Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I've been looking at our little, um, well, our little construction here, our pretty big giant ore patch. Um, and it looks like we've covered nearly half of it. Well, maybe like 45% or 40%, a lot. Uh, and we've only used one of these, well, even three lanes of this. We're probably not going to use all of the input lanes of the 16 to 16 balancer, but we are going to use all of the output so we can hopefully um, load these chests quite evenly. So um, we need to keep on. Um, basically, this belt is going to go here, and we're going to take this this way. And we're going to have these kind of going sideways and then the rest of these going to be vertically aligned like that. So let's just keep on setting these things up. Oh, I seem to have deleted a power pole that I didn't want to delete. Darn it. It's okay though. We'll be fine. It'll be okay. Uh, right. And then at this area, I think it's pro. Oh, why? Oh, no, I've run out of nanobots. <laughs> oh my god. I'll be right back. Righto, I am finally back. Oh my goodness. It's such a pain to forget stuff. It's okay, though. Hopefully it'll be just fine. Okay. Let's get rid of some of these extra miners on the edge. It's always good to trim them off um, if you don't need them. This is looking okay. Yeah, is this one going to cover? Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Good. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So this also can go and we're getting to have these really short rows here. This can also go and then possibly we'll have some just stringing along in here. In fact, what I could do to simplify the belting process is actually reverse some of these belts like this and then take them down into other rows. I think that might be useful. Um, like that. Uh, so we only have to grab one of those belts at a time, which will be easier. Just put a note to myself like that. All right, let's see what we got here. Now, can't do much more of this. We could start doing follow a robot count, but that's really not very necessary. Let's see. Nuclear power we can't do. Oh, so tasty. I'm really hurting because of no robots. I want to get my... Um, <laughs> I want to get my building train set up properly. I want to get everything set up properly. Okay, so here we're going to have these guys go into here. Obviously, this is not going to work. Um, but we're going to try to get it to work. Could take out this one and go like this. That could be good. Um, and then move this miner over and just say, aha, you're going to go there. And then these spaces are covered because of the overhang of stuff. Um, right. We just need to have like this last kind of amount there. Okay. And we'll get this removed there. Put along this way. And this whole line is going to be quite a mess of, um, all right quite a mess, isn't it? Um, <laughs> it'll be okay though. It'll be fine. A mess of, of lane balancing, but we'll have one lane balancer in there and then add any if necessary. Looks like I've completely run out of lights, which is okay. I don't really mind no lights um, because we do have the, the nice mod that's giving us some light vision. Okay, so we have half of this um, set up, which is nice. We could start doing the other half. Let's try doing that that way. And just starting doing vertical rows like this. There we go. Nice. We get this deconstructed. Don't need all that. And the trickiest part is going to be around the lakes. And we don't actually have to tap all of that if we don't want to. How long is this belt here? This is 41. This is actually almost a whole lane on its own. So I think we can just call that one good. Um, I think of these others, I'm just going to like bring them down here. 
because we really don't need like all of these different things here. We really don't. So I'm going to have this one go into there, have that one go there. This one can go, I like to do like every other one. So these are two major splitters and not have them both go into the same splitter. Um, right. So that's okay. And we can basically, the thing what we can do is just copy and paste this entire line here so we don't have to keep on, um, you know, repetitively placing them down. There we go. And then I think I'll do the error correction later. I'll just let them get placed and then we'll do the weird, weird stuff like dealing with all those um, watery bits shortly. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> it's going to be interesting, she says. Uh, yeah, very, very interesting. Right. Get rid of these guys. Oh, man. We don't absolutely do not need these. And this one is also not necessary. Oh, it is. Actually, it was. It was necessary. Darn it. That's okay. It's okay. But yeah, here we go. Nanobots to the rescue. They are rescuing me from the tedium of placing all these things myself. Um, man. This is actually one of my very, very favorite um, mods. And I like it because it's early game. And even the devs have said that they would like to have early game robots uh, at some point. So you never know. They could come to pass. Right, we're going to get... So this is a little trick that you can do is um, using an underground belt to go across these gaps like this. And then we have the two, two gap there. So that's gonna be completely covered. Let's get another miner here so that it covers all of this area. So that's quite nicely done. Um, the only thing we'll have to look out for is power poles. Now here we have another funky situation like this. Obviously we're gonna have to have one down um, at least. Okay, and then Oh, no, 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 two. There we go. Put that one down there. Perfect. That's looking really good. Now, this isn't going to get covered at the moment, but we could actually mitigate that when we go to the next area. So let's just go over there and check it out. The miners are so tight, it's actually quite hard to get between them, but we'll try to, try to get that solved shortly. Now, where was that thing? Oh, it was over here. Right. So, oh, here's another one of these things that's not happy. Okay, and this one, let's move this one here. Get that one there. Okay, nice. Very nice. And the only thing I have to worry about is power poles. Where do we want to have the power poles? Now, this is... This may be kind of a hopeless cause, I have to say, this area over here. Um, this is okay. Can we get this across? Yes, we can! Hooray! <laughs> so that's all good. Delete this from here. Obviously, that is not needed nor useful. Uh, this, I can... I don't care about that. It's not, not relevant. Not really relevant at all. Uh, there was a bit somewhere, was it? Down here. Gotcha. Okay, we'll move these here. Get more research done. There we go. Might as well use the science we have at the moment. Right, so what I want to do with this is we're going to get one of these guys and put it here uh, so that we can have full coverage of this area and get these guys moved along a little bit. There we go. So this whole thing is going to get moved and you can extend this just by putting a simple belt right there this down here kind of getting lost lost amongst the miners Ooh, we need to connect that for sure there we go now these guys are gonna get moved along there we are so at least they can cover most of this stuff and this way we're gonna use our, our ore patch to the maximum efficacy Okay, let's see. I think there was one thing I was going to be looking at up here. Yeah, we just need to have this extra miner there. All right, looking absolutely fantastic. We'll have to check this again once we get power connected. 
So each of these lines, we should check how much is in each of these lines. I don't know. Let's go look. Let's see, this one has 44 if we combine these two together. So we're definitely gonna combine these two. Uh, and I, I wanna combine them uh, with it, a lane balancer as well. Okay, and we have, just check on these, how big they are. These are 32 and this is how many? 35. Mm. I think I'll just plug them all into these different um, areas here. I think we'll be okay with this. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. And I'll even, I'll put that up there. I guess it doesn't really matter where the belts are, but it seems more fitting to put it that way. Right, and then we'll have how many here? Three? So we use one, two, three. Oh my god, sloppy on the belts. Good lord. There we go. This one will go here. Now these guys, I don't think we actually need lane balance. Well, this one does. This one definitely does actually, now that I'm looking at it. Um, that one looks okay. This one goes here. Okay, nice. Ooh, this is good. Okay, we are getting there. We are almost, almost making this a reality. Of course, once this starts up... Oh my god, I hear my cat's clanking dishes. I don't know. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that, that's probably called like a factory orgasm. Hello. <laughs> that's good stuff. Anyway, um, copper patch of 42 million or what are we thinking about this 5.8 million little piddly itty bitty no way. 42 million, we're coming for you. We will rescue you from the biters. It's going to be fantastic. When we need copper, that's where we go. Of course, we have this 6.9 million quite close. This could even be belted, technically. I probably would just belt it into the train station, to be honest, and then because that has the distribution system into the smelters, but oh, that's so good. <laughs> I like it. Very nice. All righty. Um, right, so... Before we get this train station operational, and now it should should work. I don't want to get messed with the ore right now. Um, we'll, we'll turn that on in just a second. It'll be mining like gangbusters, like crazy. Um, so let's get, we want to um, hook up these things to a logic system. Okay. And what we want to do is each, we're going to make sure that when we have a number of trains here, Usually they will choose the closest station if there's no others if like one station if only one train is loading at a time They'll constantly choose the closest but the closest may not be fully loaded with ore So what we're going to do is we're going to hook up these chests and Create a system by which we'll say aha uh -huh, this station is open uh, or not open So we're, that's what the next thing is. Okay, let's go T um, what else do we want? Anything good? You know, I'm not really even interested in anything that they're offering on this research tree. Not right now. So anyway, we need to get that sorted out. Um, what we want to do first of all is we want to have a chain signal here for each of the stations. But we're going to be manipulating this signal here. So I'm going to show you how we are, we're going to do this with one set of um of things here so we want to connect the boxes or the chests from each car together but not to the other cars okay we're going to check to make sure that each car can be completely filled um, before sending a signal okay do, 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 do. And then we're going to get our combinators. We need some deciders. Where are they? Did I just pick some or I didn't? Okay, let's make several, a few. Come on, make the combinators, do it. 
Now, I forgot how much can ore stack. I think it's 50 in a stack. Let's look. You can check the stack size if you go into your logistics and just click something and it automatically defaults to the max stack size. We have 50. We've got that information we'll need in a second. Right, so each of these combinators, I'm gonna put them, uh, notice that each combinator has an input, which is the up arrow into the machine and an output, which is the one going out of the machine. All right, and we're going to connect with the red wire, uh, these guys to the input of each of these combinators, right? Each, each section has its own combinator. Okay, there we go. Okay, now the output, um, we're going to connect with also with red wire, but we're going to only connect outputs together. We're not going to connect it to the chests. It's very, very important so that things don't get confused. And we're going to hook this up to the signal. Okay. So right now, what we want to do is figure out how much ore is in a cargo wagon. So let's go to our cargo wagons and check. Now, each of these cargo wagons has, these are 10 across and then four down. So we can have 40 stacks. And if you multiply 40 um, by, uh, what do we say, 50 is in a stack? That's 2,000 ore per cargo wagon. So what we're going to say in the decider is if, um, I think we can do everything, anything. All right, well, we're just going to use ore. Um, I forget which one it is. Is it each? No, it's not each. If everything greater than, we'll just say it this way, 2,000. And the reason I'm using the um, random, not random symbol, but the, the asterisk, asterisk, pardon me, instead of the iron ore symbol, you can use either, but I'm using this so that I can use it on a copper station as well. So I don't have to reprogram it just for that. Uh, so we're going to go back to the, uh, we'll say everything. Output, if we have this amount in the one cargo wagon, or basically to, to put into a cargo wagon, you can output one, we'll say one blue square, right? Okay, so this is going to be important. And we're going to copy this to every every one of these combinators. Again, um, if you don't have the combinator info turned on, it is in the options, uh, graphics, and it is right here. Show combinator settings when detailed info is on. You want to have that showing so that you can figure this out. And then this thing, so what happened here is when you use a circuit to connect things and you can see what's on the circuit, it kind of like goes highlighted. Um, these add everything together that's connected on the same circuit. Okay, so it's going to add all of these chests together and it's going to say to the combinator, aha, we have this. Right now, the combinator is getting nothing. Um, wait. Um, is this output signals one? Hold on. This is this is reading the signal. Let me connect this and make sure this is working properly. Oh my goodness. It's for some reason. Okay. Obviously, the everything doesn't work. Maybe it's anything. Aha. It must be anything. I always get those confused. Pardon me. Use the green one. Use the anything. And I'm going to go and grab, or I can even put in some stone in here. What is it going to say? Okay, we're inputting 40 stone, so we don't have enough. Okay, good. Okay, let's go get this combat robot thing. Go, 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 go. Oh, go away. Stuff. All right, so if we have more than 2,000 of any, or what is this again? Anything, then it's going to output to the signal a green square. Now, if all of the green squares are available, i.e. all of the wagons will have enough to load if the train pulls into the station, then we're going to let the signal turn green. So we want to do close signal. Okay, we don't want to do read signal. So the close condition is if blue signals are less than four, because we want to have four. Set this. Okay. So this should work so that the signal is red now, I think. It's hard to read the thing. Okay, because it, it, it kind of makes it funky <laughs> when you do that. But by connecting it to a power pole, you can see what the signal actually is um, when you, when you um, check these things out. All right, so we have these. So let's get this going. Let's, uh, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to copy and paste 
the um, the the chests and the combinators here and the signal. Okay, let's take out belts and railroad tracks and these because we don't need any of those. Okay, yeah, good. That's what we want, and we're going to redo this whole area here. I'm going to take out all chests, basically. All the chests and the railroad signal. Okay, we're just going to remove them real quick. I love the deconstruction planner. It is just so wonderful. There we go. And so this will enable us to just copy and paste this entire thing down. Kaboom. There we go. Nice. And it also copies the circuit conditions, which is extremely handy. Okay, so this one is also reading red. Right. So let's go and hook up our mining operations with a power pulp and let the mining begin. Ooh, looks like we have no power poles here. Hello, Araminta. Yes, my sweet baby. Oh, she's so precious. Just walked on by. All right, let's go around. While this is collecting stuff, uh, I want to make sure that all of the miners are connected, and obviously some of them are not. Ooh, this is a bad time here. Looky there, that's not good. Oh my god, I can barely get through. No. Um, Rightio, this is not ideal. Let's get the... Um, get electricity where we can here. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, look at the electricity. It's like down to half. <laughs> That's what you get, I guess, for... Um... Okay, let's move this one. Oh my god. We need to have our power pole here-ish. Yeah, right. Let's get our miner there. Get the belt there. Okay, that's fine. Now we need to do the same thing around here. Get our power pole, and that will cover it. Good. And we'll get this miner placed there. And of course the belts aren't full because we don't have full power. Looks like there's a couple down there that need to uh, sorting out. Alright, and we'll go and check on our, our signals in just a second. Then that will allow us to... Oh, good, good, good. Nice. Come on. Shift click. And control click instead. Yeah, we need more power, clearly. We're short. I should have started making solar panels, but we didn't have a lot of iron. All right, so we have stuff going on here. We have, wow, we have some stuff that is not cooked up, obviously, because we have a bit of a jam. What's going on here with this stuff? Why are you not moving? No, no. Ooh. Um, you know what? I wonder if this uses blue belts. Uh, I bet it does. I bet it uses blue belts. Oi, that's a bad time. That's a really bad time. Did I do I have a um a yellow one? I don't know. Might. Balancer. Yeah, that needs the blue belts for the longer undergrounds. So that's unfortunate. Um I have a yellow. Did I? I could have sworn I did that. Well, I have the fractal balancer. I guess I could do that one instead. Let me just cut off the supply for now. And we will sort of empty out this balancer and then redo it uh, with the other one. Even though I don't like the fractal balancer, it's kind of icky. Um, uh, this one is not working because I don't have blue belts yet. We might change it back to the other one. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Let's clear all of this out for now. I hope it fits in this space. That would be uh, inconvenient if it didn't. Okay, we'll use the horrible fractal balancer. Um, change it to red though, please. Oh, and this one that has different spacing, wonderful. Uh, right, we'll just put it this way, it's fine. <gasps> no, 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 no,
I forgot to convert the undergrounds as well. All right. Let's get it properly done. Oh my god, today is just not working well for me today. Okay. Let's get that properly done. Convert all of the junk stuff here. There we go. That should be much better. I hope. Of course, we'll have to rebalance where stuff goes. There we go. Get all these things connected up. Um, oh man, <laughs> this is annoying that it's all out of, out of place. Very, very annoying. Um, it's okay though. We'll get it sorted one day. One day we'll get it sorted. There we go. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah. I don't like this balancer cause it's not a full throughput balancer. It's very annoying. Uh, right. So let's get this one moved this way. This one moved this way. Okay. And then this one going like that is fine. Oh, hello cat. Cats are jumping down. So this one needs to go up at least one. Rid of this one. Okay, so that's two going into there. That's fine. Let that one drain out. Good deal. Okay, now we have stuff happening. Some stuff happening. Question is, can we get these other things where they need to go? What I could do is I could do... We have two to go across. I could do this. No, come on. There we go. Go that way. Right, so this one's gonna go this way. Almost, oh my God, almost. Let's go that one that way. And we'll have this one go this way, that way. Oh my God. Okay, we managed to make it work. <laughs> it's a bit on the messy side, but that's okay. We now have better splitting going on. Okay, so uh, anyway, all right, so it's now time to test our train station and see if it works. Now let's move our um, our train backward a little bit. Now you might be wondering um, if this is going to be, if the train loads and there's still enough in here uh, for another train load, this signal is not going to go red. Well, thankfully our chain signals are smarter than that because if there is a, um, a wagon here or let's just put an engine because it won't start filling up with ore. Um, if this is here, the chain signal is smart enough to say, yeah, we have a train there. Don't go that way. So thankfully the, uh, the system will do that for us. And I think what we should do is put down a couple of trains. Do we have, we do have not enough. No. Um, all right. Well, that's okay. We'll just, we'll, we'll build some at the main station, uh, as well, but unless we could, could we transfer enough stuff over possibly, um, now let's shove this in there. This could be, let's empty out the back train back, um, thing first. We need to have eight altogether. We need one more. Oh yeah, we can do this. Absolutely. Perfect. Right. So that can get shoved into there and we can have ourselves two lovely trains. Um, as far as fuel goes, fuel is, um, it, it takes a long time to deplete a train. So we don't need a fuel station here. Oh my God. Okay. This is just the tracks are really close together and I'm trying to walk at the same time. Um, so basically we would never need 
to have more than one fueling station and that we have already at the base station where they can get coal uh, in the in the trains but for now I think we could probably burn this wood so we'll have a half a stack of this each well it's not a full stack but anyway you get the idea now the other thing that I would really like to do is I want to limit my cars for extra safety and protection we're going to get these cars and we're going to choose to only have in here some ore uh, whoops. So you choose ore with the middle mouse button, same as the filter, like on your hotbar. And I wish you could click and drag, but alas, you can only um, sort of copy with the um, left click and shift into each of these squares. It's still faster than choosing it with middle mouse button. Uh, if you have a piece of ore in here, you can also just middle click on top of that. Um, but the cool thing is you can copy from wagon to wagon, um, making the whole process a lot easier. So if we now click on this one or this one, they all have this ore set up. Right, now, is this station down here ready? I think it might be. Did we hook this up? I think we did, we hooked it up already. Wow, we're, we're almost ready to go. Um, we just need some more in here. So uh, this is ready. This is called base bus iron, base bus iron. Um, and then these ones are not called anything yet. So let's name them. want to call this one. I don't want to call it demonic wolf. Sorry. I'm going to call this iron one. Uh, and then this one, the next one will also be iron one. There we go. Oh, this is flashing. Oh, I see why. Okay, it's all good. Right, now we can get this going on along here. And this is going to be out here. Okay-ish. I think we're fine there. Oh, though this one is not fine. I'm going to remove this one because I don't want stuff to get stuck in this little uh, section. Or we're going to take off this train station because that was our B station. Remember, we don't want that to be there. And uh, And we're ready to go. Of course, this is all creating a lot of pollution at the moment. Oh god, and we have biters. Hello, biters. Um, I probably should put down some... Uh, oopsies. Oh god, no, they're destroying stuff. The sadness is real. I need ammo. I have no ammo. Oh no! We have biters. No! I should have deleted those nests first. Ah, uh, sadness. It's okay, though. We'll try to get it sorted. Okay. I had a thought that I would like to do that, but that's okay. Okay, and then half again. So they have 50 each. I think that should be enough for here. Definitely want to protect that area. Okay, let's go and see about these biters. Where are they? Biters. Dumb things. I don't want you attacking my stuff. If only the miners could fend you off. Where are they? There it is. Just one. It was just one. All right, nanobots. And I am going to put down some of these guys here. Okay, and we're just gonna basically, and maybe put like 25 in each, cause there's a lot of these. How many does this have? 50, okay, that's fine. There we go. So I have enough to go and kill those nests. Now, stop interrupting my <laughs> experience here, biters. I don't want you. Um, let's go and, and sort out those trains first, and then we'll we'll get um, deal deal with those biters. I want I want to see the trains go. I want to see them go. Right. So these guys have been named. Let's set them to automatically go to iron one. And what we're going to do is. When inventory full, then you can leave. Um, and then go to base bus iron. And then go when inventory empty. And we also want to add an and condition and time past five seconds. So what happens is sometimes if your trains leave too fast, oh my God, there's more biters. If your trains leave too fast, they won't get enough fuel and eventually they will run out of fuel. So this is our, what we want to do here. So let's set this to, to go. Let me just copy these over. Oh my God. We get the biters. Biters. Where are they? See, and now the, the thing is gone. The, uh, the notification is gone. Are they still there? Oh, they were attacking my radar. Whoa. Okay. Whoops. Wrong weapon. 
It's not a biter weapon. Alright. Fine, fine, fine. Put some more turrets over here for now. I really hate biters. <laughs> I hate them so badly. You have no idea how much I hate them. Oops, I'm gonna get rid of this empty hand so that they can go ahead and... Nope, I don't want that. I accidentally tabbed. Too many hotkeys. Okay, boom. Yeah, we're generating a lot of pollution. As you can see, we're hitting this nest here, hitting these, maybe. Yeah, we're also hitting those. So we're going to have to get this sorted fairly quickly. Looks like the next one got rebuffed by our turrets. Hooray. Um, but yeah, we need to deal with those biters quickly. Quickly, quickly. And, um, oh wow, the iron is actually starting to back up in some of these areas. Looks like that we have some belt balancing issues, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but that's okay. We'll maybe we'll sort it out later. The other thing I like to do is you can actually change the color of your um, cars, which is nice. I think I want red zero and we want, ah, yes, there we go. Green blue gives us a nice kind of um, turquoise color, which I think is fantastic. So I'm going to set these guys on their way. In fact, let's go in the first train and watch this whole process happen. And you go also, oops, I, I guess I got into the second train maybe. Right, okay, so we are going. We were behind the other one. See how this one turns red, that signal? Right, so we're going to go over here and we're going to load up with iron. This is so exciting. I love doing this. When I get my first trains set up, oh, and then look how slow these are going because of no electricity. No. Um, but anyway, I love going on the trains and just seeing the whole route and making sure that they work and everything gets loaded and stuff. Um, just, you know, see that the system actually works and it's a lot of fun to do that. So, all right, we're getting there, getting close, 4.9K, 5.1, let's check on the, the radar here. Oh, well, we don't have a lot of radar coverage. We need to get radar over here and deal with these bases. Man, oh man, oh, I hate biters, <laughs> I hate biters. Right, 8K, there we go. Let's go back to the base station and see. In fact, I could set my, my regular, my building train. Let's have it go to the building train section. Oh no, I don't want to do that. No, <laughs> I was going to take it back, but then I realized I could take an iron train back. Well, it's on its way now. So here we go. We are back. Whoa, wait a second. Why did you... Hold on, hold on. Oh no, 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 manual. Oh, I have a wrong thing. So this only waited five seconds. We need to do, oh darn it. It was, I forgot to change it to and instead of or. All right, why don't you go back to the base bus iron station and then I will go and get the other one. Yeah, that's what happened. I tried to click the and first, but you have to click the condition first and then the and or. Okay, so that's a good sort of learning uh, moment there. Oh, wow. So now we have, whoa, what's going on with this? Why do we have mixed ore here? Whoa, oh my God. Oh, this is so bad. Look at this. So this is what happens when you cheat. Well, not cheat. I wasn't cheating. I was just like not putting down part of the blueprint because um, I didn't have enough materials. So basically, Iron got on the coal line, which is not ideal. Okay, well, hopefully it'll sort itself out eventually. I need to go get more undergrounds. I actually removed all of my um, undergrounds because, um, I mean, all the yellow ones because I didn't need them anymore. I'm now going to grab some, a whole bunch of some. There we go. 200, that should be enough. All of these are going to be upgraded very shortly to um, steel furnaces and red belts because steel furnaces match with red belts in terms of um, throughput and stuff like that so yep and then these also are missing yep there we go okay that's fine but this uh, funny enough this is actually not producing enough coal right now we're gonna have to tap the middle of this coal patch 
but there's probably more important things to do with fighting those biters. So I think what I should do is grab the building train and quickly go over there. God, there's so much to do right now. <laughs> it's just so much to do. Oh my goodness. All right, let me put this iron ore in there. And coal, you can have this coal, please take it off my hands. Go get more ammo. We have, we could use some more turrets as well. I have got to get those bases down and dead. Okay, let's get our, our ammo. Okay, let's get like one. Yeah, we need more of these. Um, and yeah, we'll get all the ammo. Take all the ammo, why not? Okay, we're gonna go up into the world here. Go, go, go. Manual mode, please. All right, let's clear that out of our logistics things. But I definitely don't want to request iron ore uh, when we finally get robots going. That would be slightly inconvenient. All right, let's go here. And go upward and onward into the world. Boom. Okay, I have everything I need, I think. But we need to desperately get the bases that are in the pollution range, which is all of these, all three of these areas. I'm scared of this one, to be honest. I don't know if we have the firepower to deal with that. Of course, I don't know what it looks like either. So let's just see about this. Oh my God, there's trees here. Ugh. Let's get rid of the trees. I know they suck up pollution, but soon there shall be no biters here. So we should, oh God, I gotta run, 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 run. Just gonna hit them with my SMG. Oh boy, medium biters. Not that friendly. Oh, okay, what do we got here? There's a big worm here? Oh man, no way. Oh, that's awful. That's very annoying. Oh boy, oh boy, run, 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 run. I hate turret creep, I absolutely hate turret creep. Ugh, I hate biters. I hate them so badly. Yeah, that big, big worm is just totally decimating my thing here. Um, if we can kill all the stuff around the big worm, there's an... Oh, that's a small worm. All right, so... Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Okay, that's getting those guys. <sighs> what if I tried to put... No, I should go fishing. Let me go fishing. You're thinking, what the heck is KOS thinking? She's going fishing. Yes, she is. She's going fishing because um, if you fish, which is basically like mining fish, you just right click on them, uh, they will give you um, health. So I'm going to grab some of these guys. Also, if you're out of combat for a certain amount of time, your health goes up really quickly. So I'm going to get fish because I need them. I should make some repair packs as well. Put that there and get my fish here so I can heal real quickly so I don't have to die <laughs> every time. Don't want to die. I'm gonna put this here. Just kill the stuff. Okay, even if we don't get the big worm, it's okay as long as we get the biter bases because worms do not generate more biters. Only bases generate biters. There's a worm here. Some medium worm. I'm not gonna bother it. I'll leave it alone. Wow, there's a lot of trees here. This is great for pollution absorption, but not not terribly great for for walking. Oh my god, the walking. Oi. Right. Okay, so what do we got here? Do we have any big worms? Looks okay-ish. I'm gonna put down kind of a back line here. Okay, what do we got going on here? I don't know, what what is that? Is that a medium worm? It doesn't look like a big worm. It looks like a medium one. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no! Oh god, get out, 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 out! Oh shit! I had the console up! Oh, that was awful. Oh my god. Okay, these big worms are really going to be the death of me. They're really, really that bad. 
Oh, these biters. Fish, 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 help. Oh. Wow. All right. That's not great. Those big worms are not good. See, I thought these would be smaller nests that I could just take out, maybe. And remember, we have more uh, bullet damage and more gun turret damage than we did when we tried to attack that other place. So I think I need to do a little bit more fortification on my um, my base, my outpost here. Oh my god, the trees. Get out of it. Trees, go. Uh, <laughs> because that was embarrassing. Man, that was awful. I need... I need... Um, what's... Should we check out this one? We could check it out. We could see. Hopefully we won't die. <laughs> Make a couple more steel axes. Oi. Okay, we, do we have any worms over there? I don't see any worms. Oi. I really should put these on easier hotkeys. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. There we go. I just wanted to do halvesies. Okay, so these are dead. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. At least I have a little bit of pressure off of my iron outpost. Thank goodness. Oh, we can sort of breathe easier <laughs> until, of course, the big worms. No, and they're not going to generate big worms. But, yeah, we need to get this sorted because this is going to be really bad. We're going to have to generate some defenses here. Uh, and make sure that we can protect ourselves. I think th what that's going to mean is oil, laser turrets, um, so that we can just get this automated, get defense automated, because, you know, we're going to need it. Anyway, I think, let me, I'm just going to add a few more of these turrets around the base here. Um, make sure that they're in areas that can kind of reach each other. We'll have like 50 bullets in those each. Uh, that seems okay. Oopsies. Oh, can't reach it. Okay, there we go. There, and this one. Right, and then I have a few here. And I think that's probably okay. I, I keep worrying about the left side, though, or the right side. I keep worrying about this side. Like, we don't even know what's out here yet. All right, the only thing to do, go back to the base and get oil. And I will see you in the next episode, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.